course, they are the second biggest team in America, including the NBA. So um, there's not really much you can do about that. It's just try to go hard every time you can. Um, they're a great defensive team. And I think they got over, I don't know how many players over 6'5", so I mean, I always help. Um, they're, they're a loaded team, though. Take any uh, positive takeaways from this game? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think we won the defense. I mean, the rebound is total. Uh, I think that's good for us. It's the last couple games we haven't been rebounding that good at all. So that's a plus for us. We got to keep capitalizing on those easy plays. Um, keep sharing the ball. Appreciate it. What bothered you guys down a little more? Was it their length or just not letting you guys get anything inside? Not the entry area? Or... No, I don't yeah. think they didn't let us get anything. I just think they just they're, 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 like you said, their length. I had a pretty big team, like I told them, their second biggest team, including the NBA. Um, so, uh, he's got to capitalize on those easy plays and just try to go to the base where you can. As opposed to a normal game against anybody else, how much of an adjustment was it for you having to deal with that life? It wasn't that big of an adjustment. Uh, I think one, I got my shot block one time uh, when I went to the baseline. Uh, it's just something I've been trying to work on, being more explosive. So I'm going to try to do that again. Can you put into perspective, though, just their height and their length? I mean, that's not something you see. I mean, you really can't even describe it. It's just, it's, it's not normal at all. Bro. But at the same time, as, as, a, as a team, we got to go back, Chapel Hill, and really lock in because we got we got to change some things. What do you have to change to become more a team that can compete with them? Come on. Uh, I mean, Coach wrote it on the board before the game, just defend without fouling. I mean, he put them on the line 31 times. I mean, you're going to lose a game. So we got to capitalize on those plays. Well, in, yeah, in the first half, it's not just fouling, but fouling when the act of shooting, they were going on the line almost every time they got yeah, the ball. Yeah. You guys did a fairly decent job on the defensive glass in the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those fouls were killer. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what it is. So. And they came in shooting 27% from three, and they hit six or 12 in the first like half. I thought somebody mean, else. Um, not much you can do about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I mean... You gotta, you gotta. As as a team, we have to think that every team is gonna come and give us our, our, their best shot. Um, so, and, and Kentucky gave us their best shot. Uh, they hit those threes. They got a lot of open shots. I mean, knock them down. How far are you guys away from playing at that level? Being close to that level? I don't think we're far away. Um, I just think, like I said, we just gotta defend without fouling. I mean, if we didn't foul as much as we did, we're right there in the game. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a three point deficit if, if we didn't foul 10 of those times. So, you know, it's just it's something we gotta, we gotta. We saw some signs of second half Marcus from last year in the second half today, finally. That has to at least be something. Of who? Marcus? Yeah, yeah. Last year, he carried you guys a lot in the second half, had those barrages of threes. He had a stretch like that today for the first time this year. Yeah, I mean, he's he's going he's going to prove. Um, he's going through a little slump right now, but he's he's the type of player that's going to bounce back no matter what. Um, doing any adversity, he's he you can count on him as being a good teammate and being there for you, man. Thanks. There are other things.